Well, we're turning now to our top story, the mass exodus of Rohingya refugees from Myanmar following a renewed crackdown. Well, let's speak to Simon Adams, who's the executive director of the Global Centre for Responsibility to Protect. He briefed UN Security Council members in New York earlier on Friday. Um, Simon, good to see you as always. Um, Simon, uh, what was said to the council? Well, it's good to see you too, Julie. I mean, it was a unique opportunity, I guess, to brief uh, a number of the council members, and we were able to bring somebody from the field in to speak to them as well, who had just returned from the border of Bangladesh. And we were also able to use some satellite evidence from our friends at, at Human Rights Watch. And I guess our message to the council was having an occasional meeting, uh, not officially part of the agenda, and, and talking in concerned tones about what's happening is, is not enough that we've seen a massive displacement of civilians, we've seen executions of civilians, the burning of, of almost entire villages, and the expulsion, and I, have to, I use that word advisably, the expulsion of the Rohingya people from northern Rakhine uh, in Myanmar. We believe that this is widespread and systematic and constitutes a policy of ethnic cleansing on behalf of the Myanmar government, and the council absolutely has to respond to it. Well, what sort of feeling do you have, Simon? What kind of reaction do you get? Do you get a sense that the UN wants to act, has the will to act, but that, of course, um, the steps it takes forward are, you know, nuanced and complicated? Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm not at liberty to, to discuss the, the intricacies of, of obviously a, a private off-the-record uh, briefing with the Security Council, but what I can say is this. I do think there are a number of council members, a number of council members, who are extremely concerned by what they're seeing on their TV screens, by what they're hearing uh, from their embassies in the field, and the evidence that's being collected by NGOs, uh, in, including uh, my own, and, and what's being said to them. They're very concerned, and they want to see something done. Um, having said that, I think there are some other members of the council who are more reluctant, who are perhaps more nervous um, and uh, buying, I think, to some extent, the, the government's uh, line on, on, on what, uh, the Myanmar government's line on what's happening in northern Rakhine. But I think the, the weight of the evidence is, is overwhelming there for, for people to see. And again, that was, that was run through with them today. And I think it's just not enough uh, for, you know, a, a soft comment here and then. I think a very strong message has to be sent to Aung San Suu Kyi, that she needs to get involved in actually making sure that the killing is stopped, that the ethnic cleansing is stopped, and that something is done for these, these poor people. And, and I suppose, um, Simon, too, um, it, the, the weight of the international community here, how important is it to have not just you know, one voice or even voices in Myanmar itself, but a collection of voices that lead to some sort of action? Enormously important. I mean, I am actually reminded of something that Aung San Suu Kyi once said, which is that you should use your freedom to help us achieve ours. And, you know, I, I never forget that. And I think there's a, an onus of responsibility on all of us as human beings to stand up when these things happen. You know, I'm not a Rohingya Muslim from uh, Myanmar, of course, but I identify with them and for the terrible plight that, that they're being put through. And I think the pressure is growing internationally. It's growing on Aung San Suu Kyi. Uh, it's growing on the Myanmar government, and I think that pressure is only going to continue over the next couple of days. And I think this is the perfect time for the UN, the Secretary General of the UN, who has uh, actually spoken to Aung San Suu Kyi on, on the telephone, and also to the UN Security Council to come out to say something. It's a complex situation, but to come out and say that they stand on the side of human rights and that this killing must stop and that the ethnic cleansing of the Rohingya must stop. Simon Adams, sir, joining me live from the UN. Simon, thank you.